this video, we are going to do some long division with polynomials. But before we start with variables, let's just revise what long division is. If I say I want to divide 1048 with 7, this is the steps I would take in long division. So I work my way through the digits from left to right. 7 goes into 1 0 times. Then I go to the next digit and combine it. So 7 goes into 10 once. Then I multiply 1 with 7, which is 7. And that's the digit I subtract from 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3. And I bring the 4 down. Then 7 goes into 34 four times, if I count in 7s. So 4 times 7 is 28, and that is what I subtract. So 34 minus 28 is 6, and I bring the 8 down. Then 7 goes into 68 9 times. And 9 times 7 is 63. And that is what I subtract. And therefore I have a remainder of 5. Because 7 cannot go into 5. So 1048 divided by 7 is 149 and five parts of seven remaining. Now we are going to divide the polynomials with each other. We are going to take the first expression and divide it by x minus three. Let's write it in a proper long division notation. We are also going to work from left to right underneath the line. And I'm going to divide 2x cubed with x. So that's my first step. 2x cubed divided by x, which will give us 2x squared. So 2x cubed divided by x is 2x squared. Then what I need to do is I multiply 2x squared with x which will become 2x cubed and I multiply 2x squared with negative 3. So 2x squared negative 3 will produce a negative 6 x squared. And as we did before, this is the part that we subtract. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0. Then negative x squared minus minus, that become plus 6x squared, is then plus 5x squared. And I bring the negative 13x down. Now in this line, I divide 5x squared with x. So only the first term. That will become 5x. It's a positive value, so it is, plus 5x. Then I repeat what I did before. So 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. But in order to move on, 
I subtract this. So 5x squared minus 5x squared is 0. And negative 13x plus 15x is 2x. And I bring the 6 down. Then in this step, I'm going to divide 2x with x, which will give me 2. So that is plus 2. I take that plus 2, multiply it with x, so that is 2x. And plus 2, multiply with negative 3, that is negative 6. But remember, I subtract this part, so the remainder now is 0. So that means that x minus 3 can go perfectly into a 2x cubed minus x squared minus 13x minus 6. So if I divide these, there's no remainder. Now let us divide x cubed minus 16x plus 4 with x minus 2. Notice that I added something. In the original expression, there wasn't an x squared. But I want to add an x squared so that the powers of x is descending for all natural values of x. So it will be x cubed, x squared, x, and then x to the power of 0. So important when something is missing, add that space. Um, and you would see now why we need it. So in the first step, I have x cubed divided by x. And that produces x squared. You do not need to write the calculation on the side. This is simply me showing you what I'm doing. Then I multiply x squared with x, that is x cubed, and then I multiply x squared with negative 2, that is negative 2x squared, and this is the part that I am subtracting. So the x cubes will cancel each other out, and this will become negative negative, so it's plus 2x squared, and that is why we needed to add this x squared to have the proper spacing and a placeholder for the 2x squared, which is produced. Then I bring the negative 16x down, and I repeat the cycle. So it's 2x squared divided by x is 2x, so it's plus 2x, then multiply 2x with x, so it's 2x squared, and 2x multiplied with negative 2 is negative 4x. And remember, this is the part that we subtract. So the 2x squares will catch each other out, and this is negative 16x plus 4, which is negative 12x. And then I bring the 4 down. Now this is the last division I need to do, so it's negative 12x divided by x is equal to negative 12, and I write it here at the top. Then I multiply out, so negative 12 times x is negative 12x, and negative 12 times negative 2 is plus 24, but remember this part we need to subtract, so the 12 x's will catch each other out, and I have plus 4 minus 24, which is negative 20. And because this is not 0, this is called the remainder. That means that x minus 2 
doesn't go perfectly into x cubed minus 16x plus 4.